Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my Dragon Age Origins modding kind of reference guide. Um, I'm going to try to keep this short, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, when you download mods from the web, basically for Dragon Age Origins or, you know, really any game, uh, they kind of come down as compressed archives, and that'd be like a rare file, a zip file, or even a 7-zip file. Um, and you can use a variety of programs to uh, unzip them. Uh, a lot of people prefer WinRare. Uh, I kind of prefer 7-zip. Uh, so. You know, you can use either one. They do basically the same thing and they're both really good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and extract these to their own folder. And let's take a look at Lockbash. So Lockbash we see comes down as a DA zip file. And this one actually comes down with two. This is for the normal game. This is for if we have the Awakening DLC or Awakening Expansion rather um, installed in our game. Uh, I don't have it, at least not yet. I don't have it installed. So really not concerned with that. But if you have um, Awakening installed, then you would go ahead and use that one. Um, let's look at this uh, utility sack. This one comes down as a dot override, and essentially the way we use um, the DA zip files and the dot override files is we use it with a mod manager. Now you can use um, the Dragon Age updater to install DA zip files, but for myself, I didn't really care for it, so I've been using Dragon Age Origins uh, mod manager. So. And on top of that, uh, some of the mod um, authors actually recommend uh, using the mod manager. So let's go ahead and I'll extract this to its own folder. Also, um, I'll have uh, links down below to any of these mods if anybody needs them. And uh, as far as these, um, they're not like must haves, but they are pretty good. So um, they're more for uh, demonstration purposes. So anyways, uh, getting back to uh, the topic, um, this mod manager, after you extract it, um, essentially just comes down this way and has these files in there and the mod manager you don't have to formally install it but rather it's kind of a, a portable program so you can copy this or move this wherever you'd like to and it would work as long as you keep all these files together so what you might want to do is extract this and then move this um, this folder somewhere that you'll remember where it is or some, you know, put it in a good spot. Uh, it might be where you're storing all your uh, Dragon Age mods. It might be in your installation directory, but it's gotta be somewhere that, you know, kind of has a little bit of room because the files will start getting big. Well, some of these folders will start getting big if you're installing a lot of mods. Um, and uh, basically after you put it where, where you know, a good spot for you you can make a shortcut to it or whatever but um, you can go ahead and fire it up and it'll just run but uh, before we do that we're gonna want to um, copy in our mods and basically that's inside of this mod folder so inside of this mod folder we find a DA zip folder and an override folder and you could probably guess what we do with these, right? We're gonna copy our DA zip uh, files into this folder and our dot override uh, files into this folder. So let me go ahead and open this in a new window and stretch this over here. And I'll pull this back and I'll take one step back and we'll go and check out Lockbash, right? So we get this DA zip file and you can copy it or you can move it, it doesn't really matter which, and put it right into the DA zip folder. So it's right in there now. Also, the same thing with the utility sack. You get this dot override file and we're gonna wanna put it in the override folder. And you can copy it or you know you can move it, it doesn't really matter which just as long as you put it in the override folder. Now, it, you don't put the dot overrides in the DA zips or the DA zips in override because it just won't work right. So um, the mod manager won't pick it up um, 
correctly, basically. So anyways, since we have those copied into the, our mods folder, um, now we can go ahead and start up the mod manager and install the ones we have copied in there. But I'm not actually going to use this instance of mod manager because I'm already using one for my own game and I'll show you on that one. So let me start this up. Here it is. And uh, there we go. And basically any mod we, we copy in like a DA zip or a dot override is going to end up in this bottom window here. And you can see it gets a little bit crowded because this is where a lot of your uh, DLCs and stuff will end up as well. But basically what you do is you're just gonna search through here um, for the mod that you wanna install. Um, you know, kind of sift through all the mods you already have installed. And for us, it's like this uh, lock bash here. So once you find it, you basically right click on it and you just click install and it'll ask you to confirm if you really want to install that you would say yes i actually already have it installed so i'm going to say no but as soon as you install it you'll look on this side in this uninstalled da zips and we'll just scroll down to the bottom because what happens is whenever you add a mod from here it just keeps adding it to the bottom and adding it to the bottom and uh ours should be here you see because it's not the last one i've um added so anyways you see it here so we know it's installed it has a check mark next to it so we know that it's active so as soon as we install it it's going to put it in here it's going to make it active we can go ahead and just close this out and start up dragon age origins and we could start bashing locks basically um that should all be good and if we ever want to get you know get rid of it then we would start up um, this mod manager again and we would look for a lock bash in here and we just right click it and say uninstall and it says do you really want to install it you would say yes and it would go ahead and get rid of it you know simple as that and uh these uh overrides are basically the same way um overrides are a little bit different the only thing is um I guess because the overrides actually modify exact is existing things in the game um, at least that's my understanding of it I'm, I'm not sure exactly how it works or the, the actual difference between overrides and DA zips but it seems like DA zips add new items to the game whereas overrides kind of modify existing ones I may have that wrong but you know maybe it's just a simplistic um, way of looking at it so anyways we add these the same way like if we're going to add this utility sack we need to have this in utility sack installed beforehand and you see this one's already installed here and then we'll go ahead and right click this and say install we would say yes and it would pop up here so you know and it's the same thing as the da zips if we want to get rid of it right click it uninstall say yes and it would be gone you know simple as that there's also the um, check for compatibility I'm not really sure how that works I really haven't run into problems with it I may run into problems later on and once I cross that bridge um, and I have a good understanding of how the uh, compatibility check for compatibility will work and what exactly it's doing well not exactly but you know from user standpoint if I understand what it's doing then I'll make another video kind of a, an addendum to this to uh, show you guys how that works and uh, yeah I think that'll about do it for mod manager um, hopefully that's enough information for you guys to be able to uh, you know install mods that come down as DA zips or install um, mods that come down as dot overrides uh, it's pretty straightforward I'm just kind of doing this for completeness but yeah so that's mod manager uh, let me go ahead and close this out and uh, now the other way uh, mods come down is loose files not specifically ERF files but that is one type of loose file it comes down as and these loose file mods you essentially install manually 
which is pretty simple but the only thing that gets a little bit confusing is it's basically you install it to your override file now or override folder rather and they're not talking about the override uh, folder inside a mod manager you know that's only for dot override um, files um, we also have another override uh, folder inside the game directory where we um, installed Dragon Age but we don't want to use that one either some say you can but it's not as reliable uh, I just don't see a reason to use it since it doesn't seem like anybody's having problems with the override folder in your documents folder and most uh, mod authors actually specify to put it into that one and that one is located in documents bioware dragon age packages core and here's the override here so in this folder you essentially just copy this in and you can see here here's the same file here's the white teeth erf now the thing with this folder is it's sort of a free-for-all you can go ahead and copy in files just loose and the game will pick it up and use it just fine or you can create a folder if you want and copy the loose files into a folder and it'll work just the same it's really just up to you um, it might make life a little bit easier if you made a folder and then copy things in because you can see some of them have like a lot of you know a lot of files in there so if you ever wanted to uh, remove it well if it's in its own folder you can just delete the folder if it's loose you're gonna have to kind of sift through all of them but uh, yeah that's about it for installing mods um, the the loose mods are, are or the loose file mods are pretty simple you just copy them in there you know it's like a free-for-all like I said so you can make your own folder if you want uh, you don't have to and they basically just work uh, yeah I think that'll about do it um, just make sure you're putting it into the one in your documents and it, you shouldn't have any problems you know don't uh, don't start putting some in the game directory one and some in there and some in there try to try to be uh, consistent about it and you shouldn't really have any problems so anyways I think that'll, that'll just about do it um, if you want to see some of these mods that that you're seeing I have installed like either in my uh, my mod manager or in the override um, check out my Dragon Age series you know I, these are this is basically the um, the way I have it set up right now and this is what I'm using uh, I just added uh, Jojo's weapons because uh, well my main character uh, she has a pretty good weapon um, and but the rest of my party is kind of using some uh, normal ones so I kind of wanted to give them a little uh, a little pizzazz you know <laughs> and and yeah so we'll check out uh, Jojo's weapons next time and stuff like that but anyways um, yeah I think that'll about do it so yeah I'll see you guys next time <laughs> all right